Good day. Uh, in today's video lesson, we're going to explore um, <clears throat> in a definite integral, a definite integral, but there's one special peculiar peculiarity, and that is the power of this power function is unknown. It's going to be a fixed letter n, um, and so how do we still do the calculus if we don't know what the power is? Um, the short answer is you generalize the power rule, um, but we're going to have to use some u substitution here to take care of the x plus 1 dx. So, a um, little inspection, if you took this inner function x squared plus 2x and differentiated it, you get 2x plus 2, which is twice as big as x plus 1, so it is a scale factor. Um, so I'm going to let u be x squared plus 2x, therefore du will be 2x plus 2 dx, and if we take half of both sides, we get half du is equal to x plus 1 dx. So as we recall in u substitution, the x plus 1 dx right here can be substituted with one half to u. But also the boundaries when you do u substitution, if you change your boundaries in terms of u, then you don't have to go back in terms of x to evaluate. So I'm going to make sure when x is 0, I find out what u is. That's going to be 0 as well, 0 squared plus 2, 0. And when x is 1, u is going to be 3. It's 1 squared plus 2 times 1. So now I can change my boundaries from 0 to 3 instead of 0 to 1, and I can change my variable from x to u. So instead of x squared plus 2x to the n, it's just u to the n, and then all of this stuff becomes 1 half dx. I'll put the, or du, I'll put the 1 half out here and the du here. To anti-differentiate u to the n, you simply increase the power by 1, so it's u to the n plus 1, and then divide by that new increased power, that's n plus 1, and we evaluate from 0 to 3. So um, remember that the u is my variable in question because I'm integrating with respect to u. So I substitute in the 3 and the 0 in for u, and I simplify. So 0 is 0, obviously, and so we just get 3 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times a half. So I just distribute a 2 into the denominator, and I'm good to go. As you can see to check this, because we don't know the value of uh, the n, you can use Desmos to leave n as it is and then just uh, make a slider that, that generates int integers. Um, so you can see here that I have the given function, I have the integral of the function from 0 to 1, which is what the question was asking, and I see a specific value when n equals 6. Now I have my answer, g of x, I put it back in terms of x here, and then I evaluated g of 1 minus g of 0, which is the integral here. And I end up with the same result. Even if I change n from 6 to, in this case, I changed it to 3, I still have the integral from 0 to 1 matching my antiderivative from 0 to 1. So that's it. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.